Hi, my name is Dan Wilding. I'm an acoustic engineer at Larson Davis. Today we are going to perform an acoustic calibration on the AEC-206, something you might do before and after a regular test day. I've already connected the AEC-206 to a signal analyzer, and we will be using the Larson Davis Cal-250 Precision Acoustic Calibrator. An adapter for this model is included with the device. The first thing you will need to do is remove the artificial pinna. We need to remove the pinna to access the microphone for calibration. Inside the head are two occluded ear simulators with microphones and preamplifiers. To mimic human sound perception, artificial pinna are mounted over the microphones. They are held in place with the alignment ring. Make sure that the adapter is securely on the calibrator. Give it a good push. Push the calibrator over the microphone until it's securely attached. Then turn it on by pressing the button. The signal will play for 60 seconds. At this point, adjust the value on your signal analyzer to match the output level of the calibrator. To remove properly, position your hand on the bottom half of the calibrator. Push down about 10 degrees until you feel the connection release, then pull out. Repeat on the other side. Do not remove the calibrator by pulling straight out. You risk yanking out the ear simulators and damaging the device. Last, we are going to remount the pinna. The left pinna is indicated with the L in the product name, and the right with an R in the product name. Whenever we talk about left and right, think about the AEC-206 as a head where the logo is the face. So it is the device's left and right, not yours. Take the left pinna and push it into place on the left side of the head. If done correctly, the notch at the bottom of the pinna and the notch in the alignment ring will form a circle, as shown here. Then repeat this process for the right side. Align the notch at the bottom of the pinna with the alignment screw on the head. To learn more about these procedures and other information related to the AEC-206, refer to the manual located on the USB drive with your device or online at LarsonDavis.com.